In this video, you're gonna learn about the color target selectable component inside this UI. Let's get started. The color target selectable component is a very useful component that is linked to the theme management system inside the UI. And you can use it for button, tog buttons, toggles, sliders, whatever. It will work for any selectable type component. And let me show you in uh, let me show you in action. So first of all, I have a theme, a custom theme that I called I named my theme, and I created some um, buttons, some some colors. So I have a normal, a highlighted, a pressed, a selected. This option has been added in uh, um, 2019.3 in, in a later Unity version and a disabled state. So these are the states that a uh, selectable component can have. It, it doesn't really have to be a button. I just named them that way. It really doesn't matter. And I have one, two and three uh, variants just so you can see different uh, options. So let me add a uh, UI button and you will see that the UI button also has a native button component attached. And here we have a transition set to color tint and you have a normal highlighted, pressed, selected and disabled color. Let's enter play mode and let's see what these are. I'm going to also zoom in a bit. Yeah. So you can see that the color changes depend, let's say selected, let's go with a yellow. So now it's selected. Let's go with a highlighted, let's say uh, a um, orange, something like that. So if I, if I move my mouse over it, you will see that it changes color to this particular color. And when I press it, let's say, uh, let's go to a uh, darker yellow, something like that. So pressed, and now it will get selected this color and if i want to disable it i just set interactable to false and we will see it like that there you go and now it's the normal color so if you want to have if you want to have different themes you you will definitely want to change these colors automatically and we do that but by uh, adding the component so we go to do z themes targets and here I want to say color target selectable. So I want to change the color of a selectable component. This is not only for the button. You, you will see in, in a few minutes. So here I just select the colors. I know I do not have any options in this uh, selected theme. So I'm going to change my theme and I'm just going to set the, the color. So normal, highlighted. You'll notice that the color also change, changes here, pressed selected and finally disabled and right now i'm using the colors that i've set up in my theme these ones if i change the variant all the colors will change so basically you can do this on the fly and let's enter play mode and you will also notice that this uh, this works with a lot of other components this is zoomed in that's why you see it like that so this is the highlighted color. Let's, uh, yeah. There you go. And interactable. And let's let's assume that we want to change the variant. Let's change it. And there you go. The color just changed. Three. There you go. It just works. All right. Now I've shown you this for the button but this also works for all the components inside unity that have this transition uh, option this selectable uh, component so in this ui this will also work for your ui toggle it's the same thing and i'm gonna show you but before i do that i gotta change the the color of the background to white now yeah. so uh, i can also let's also copy this component so i'm gonna copy it copy components so I do not have to uh, add it. Paste component is new. And let's link this UI toggle. There you go. So now I'm also changing the color of this particular toggle. Because 
you will see that the button has these options the UI toggle has these, these options so it just works let's also change the variant to number three for example and there you go it just works and i've told you that this also works with every other component inside um, unity so let's go here let's check it out button text measure this is only the native button let's add a uh, toggle let's move it like so so the first two are from doozy and these are the native ones let's add a slider why not let's add i'm just going to show that it works with everything the scroll bar let's add a drop down text mesh pro all right and what else do we have here let's see input field yeah i think this should be enough all right so I, i've added all of these components and i'm gonna say add component color target selectable i'm gonna set my theme i'm also changing everything here so let's select normal mm, highlighted pressed if you do not see selected that's because you're um, in a previous version of unity and you do not have this option and there you go just like magic everything changed so let's see button it has this part toggle it has these things slider and you can see it just works with uh, everything drop down there you go and input field um yeah let's enter play mode and let's check it out this was the the last save the um, theme so as you can see it, it just it just works a, B, C, whatever, and the options. And let's see it. Where is it? Let me open the themes and check it out. You just change everything. So, yeah. And notice how everything changes. This is, basic, this is the selected color. Yeah. All right. So this is what the color target selectable component does it uh, automatically selects the selectable component the first selectable component on the game object you've added it to and it allows you to to change a lot of colors and have different themes all right that's it for the color target selectable thank you <laughs>